Hi guys and welcome to the first episode of Farming Simulator Mods Weekly where I'll be reviewing every single week the best mods for Farming Simulator. So the first mod today is called Placeable Trees which enables us to plant seven different types of trees. Once we've gone ahead and selected one it gives us the same type of overhead view as if we wanted to place a building. And the seven different trees are ash, birch, elm, fir, maple, oak and poplars. Poplars look absolutely brilliant in between fields to create nice rows like we've got right now. So the next mod is in the pretty much the same vein, it's called placeable halls. Although it's a little bit more difficult to place properly because you can place through trees as I did just then rather failingly. Or you can place them on mountains and it looks absolutely ridiculous because then you have a couple of poles that are just floating magically up in the air. So this next mod is just a little bit of fun, the BMW M3. It is a little bit buggy just like most of these mods are, but it is a heck of a lot of fun just to rocket your way past it at 62 miles an hour which is the fastest that you can go in this game, going up a hill and then jumping out of your car and seeing it rocket past you. <laughs> and it's also pretty fun just driving in a straight plane, curving around and then your car magically flips off. It's kind of really weird. But here we go with the Lizard ATV, which is another mod created by Giant Software. So you know it's going to be good, it's officially endorsed and created. But it is rather pointless, there's no real functionality in it, apart from driving from point A to point B. It does look kind of wacky with your guy, he's got like a parachute on his back and he's dressed up to be a ninja in a farm, I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. Hopefully something will be explained in the DLC that will inevitably come, but apart from that it's just as much fun to rocket off a cliff and seeing it go 100 miles an hour past you. So these next two mods are called the Sua SB1000 pack as well as the Pottinger Teradisc 3000. The sewer pack is a weight pack which you can attach to the front of your trailer. They do come with no maintenance and they are in th available in three different colours called black, class, silver grey as well as John Deere green and all weigh a ton so they are pretty much a good replacement for the 1200 kilo barrel which just looks atrocious at the front of your tractor. And the Pottinger Terradisc 3000 is what we've got equipped right now. It is quite interactive as you can see we've got like those little markers on either side as well and it's got a three meter width so it is something to keep in mind. It is quite functional, it looks really good especially when you, once you're looking at the back of your tractor. But apart from that, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this weekly series. There'll be a lot more coming. Next episode should be in a couple of days because we've missed out a bit on the first week. We've been waiting a little bit but all the download links will be down below and hopefully you have enjoyed as much as I have. So instead of actually just running there, we'll actually just go ahead and teleport there magically. And I don't want any of these vehicles, I want this one. Let's go ahead and actually attach everything up. And then because I'm lazy...